Why was the dog sent to space before? Going into space, each time, every era, the steps that create excitement. Sometimes the political race of countries with each other. Sometimes the emergence of technological advances. Space is a proud thing for astronauts, while it's regarded as a source of prestige for related companies. And what is the meaning of space for animals? For example, why would a dog, a monkey, a cat, a mouse, a frog, a spider, a fruit fly, a grasshopper, a slug, a worm, or even a turtle go into space? First of all, why was the dog chosen first for space travel? There must be a logical explanation for this. When the date showed April 12, 1961, Major Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin of the Soviet Union remained exactly two hours in orbit around Earth as the first human to go into space. In terms of our history, actually, this journey was made for the first time by a dog in 1957. The team, who was preparing animals for space travel, first wanted to observe the effects of weightlessness environment on living organisms and achieve certain results. The team, who was preparing animals for space travel, first wanted to observe the effects of a weightless environment on living organisms and achieve certain results. To understand how long and with what effects the human body can be exposed to the radiation of the sun, they began to select and prepare the living organisms closest to man. Period. The Cold War period. Due to this space travel race, which became a reflection of military, economic, and ideological contentions between the Soviet Union and the United States, the Sputnik 2 spacecraft in November 1957 by the Soviet Union was decided to send an animal into space. Until that day, there has never been a satellite orbiting around the Earth. Sputnik 2 went down in history as the first satellite to orbit around the Earth. Sputnik completed a tour in 96 minutes, ranging from the Earth from 230 to 942 kilometers. With a total weight of 83.6 kilograms, this small capsule has affected a much larger area than its size. And it was not alone in doing so. The success of the Soviet Union, leaving the United States behind with these important steps, started the space age, belonged to a dog in the capsule, Laika. In Russia, Laika was a three-year-old female stray dog, as she was deemed fit for this task while wandering the streets of Moscow. Laika, whose breed was not fully found, but the fox terrier features predominant, meant barking dog. After the Soviet Union announced the certainty that it was going to launch Sputnik, Laika had undergone small tests and surgeries. Accustomed to a nutritious paste, and this gel-shaped paste was going to keep her stomach full for the duration of the journey. So why was all of this work done for the dog and not for another animal? Workers of the Space Exploration Center, they should have sent the most durable animals for the living conditions and application practices of these flights. Dogs were also preferred because of their adaptation to hunger and difficult conditions. They were one of the creatures deemed appropriate by researchers because they adapted to the environments where they would remain motionless for a long time. The reason female stray dogs were chosen as the breed was that they were more compatible with harsh and tense environments than their domestic breed. At the same time, it had the skills to use urine and stool devices easier and more practical. Laika was launched into space on Sputnik 2 to enter orbit for the first time. But Sputnik 2 could not return to Earth and burn into the atmosphere. Scientist Dmitry Maleshenkov, who worked for Sputnik 2, made a statement on this issue in 2002. And Laika, who was supposed to live four more days in the capsule, actually died five to seven hours after takeoff because the capsule reached high temperature. Ah, a conscious statement that came 45 years later. Laika's sad story was never forgotten. In the name of Laika, stamps were printed and statues were erected. Many domestic dogs were named Laika. But nothing could replace Laika's courage and the fact that she touched the sky. She was no longer the best friend of man, but the stars. Keep in mind, stray dogs might not have dreams. But if we don't take good care of them, stray dogs that will fulfill your human dreams can also disappear.